Under the Spreading Chestnut Tree, Episode 5. What did I say? Good morning, investigator. Since you have the most powerful investigative tool at your disposal, I suspect you already know who I am. You, on the other hand, have been a hard-working investigator so far. You have proved Orwell is working as intended. I will be your new advisor on this case. This has become far too important to leave the case to the advisor with an exposed identity. Symes as well, but no longer fit to work on Orwell. Moving forward, we will not speak about him again. As far as you are concerned, he never existed. Uh, I think the first line is fairly reasonable, but... The next part here is kind of concerning. With yesterday's so-called revelation about Orwell sympathizers, this terrorist group has taken to the streets. Terrorist group? She's very dead set on thought being terrorists already. Even though it kind of does look that way, but I don't... I wouldn't be so fast to call them that. We need to show all of the nation Orwell is keeping them safe. We won't allow some fools to trample on everything we have achieved. We must get rid of the imposter pretending to be Abraham Goldfels. Find out who did it and where they are hiding. Well, the, my first thought, if it's someone we know, then I feel like it must be Initiate. But... I don't know if I'm... Do we have evidence it's this person? I don't know... Got invited to the thought by Harrison. Oh well, no, he said he was already a member, so whatever, that doesn't matter. Okay. What the heck was that? Sounds like we got a lot of mail, but let's read this first. Huh. Howls of exposed government employee vandalized. That's not... I don't think you can just call that vandalism. A quiet house in Farview was ravaged by vandalism overnight, as raging protesters took up arms and tried to invade the home of government employee Benjamin C. and his fiance. Colored bombs and spray paint were used to deface the outer walls of the estate, along with the owner's car which was left in the driveway. The garden was trampled and several windows of the home were left shattered. Benjamin C. and his fiance were not home during the attack. Thank God! Which was called in by several of their neighbors during the early hours of the morning. Just before the incident, Benjamin C. had been doxxed, a practice where online groups leak personal information on the internet with malicious intent by activist group Thought, when they claimed he was linked to a new government initiative. The project, now known as Orwell, allegedly will be used to install mass surveillance on all citizens in the nation. At this time, it remains unclear whether anti-government anti -government protesters connected to the project's reveal are involved in the crime. Is doxing a crime? I'm not too sure. On the internet, there's a lot of rules on various communities, for example, Reddit, where if you dox people and give away their information, then they will ban you and stuff? They'll ban you, but I'm not too sure if it's actually a crime that you can be arrested for. I would assume so. There's got to be some sort of security laws about that. Anti-Orwell protesters gather at Freedom Memorial remains. Once again, Freedom Plaza has become the center of attention, with over a dozen citizens protesting at the ravaged Freedom Memorial on Sunday evening. The cause of the protest is the recent unveiling of Orwell, a mass surveillance program issued in secret by the government. The information was leaked by the activist group Thought, the same group that was brought to public attention as the alleged culprits of the Bonten bombings. The group claimed in a recent blog post that they had proof that the government has plans to use this system to put the population of the nation under mass surveillance. We have reached out to the government for a statement about the Orwell project, but at the time of publication, we had not received a reply. More on the story as it unfolds. Remember how Harrison's friends were saying, oh, now you're working for that corrupt newspaper? They're actually not as corrupt as you think they are, because look at how much they're talking about. Talking about the thought and the government doing bad things. Why do I keep going back? One more. Negotiations in Trifleth renewed. 
So the Prime Minister is still in Triflith, even though there's so much crap going on in his own country. The Pargesian president, Kassarth, has given the green light to resume negotiations about a re-election. This is the result, came from one, only one day of Prime Minister Blaine's visit to Triflith. Wow! And it is widely interpreted as a beacon of hope for the crisis-riddled region. Under supervision of the Prime Minister, Kassarth and members of the opposition gathered at the round table at the Pargesian Presidential Palace PPP, after the talks had been discontinued last week. Experts, who had mostly predicted long and difficult talks, are surprised by the sudden change of mind by Kassarth due to the Prime Minister's intervention. Meanwhile, the riots in Triflith went on, but decreased in intensity significantly as many followers of the opposition called off their planned actions at the news of the round table gathering. Huh. So, so far we've seen a lot of little things being connected left and right, but I'm not sure how this whole piece about Triflith and Parges fits in. Because it's not really to do with security. Or uh, cyber security, I should say. Maybe it'll come in later. What is going on? Oh! Everybody got a... Uh, the same email. Gunther Ahrens to Cassandra Watergate, Joseph Langley, Juliet Carrington, Har Harrison O'Donnell, CC, Nina Maranova. Members of Thought, my dear friends, as you have all experienced already, we are being besieged by the government. They have denounced us, called us terrorists, and turned the public against us. This will stop today. Their days are about to come to an end. I have a plan, but for this to work out, we must meet like we did in the old days, when we had our meetings in the Café Chestnut. We will have a conference call at 4 p.m. sharp, because I am aware that a meeting in person won't work out for us. You need not fear surveillance. All has been taken care of. I will contact you. Get in a safe position. Be ready. Okay, so the Initiate is a member of the Thought Group, but he's not been CC'd here, which... Hang on. Joseph? Joseph is a member of THOUGHT? Huh. I was gonna say that since Initiate is not CC'd or TOOD from here, then he must be the person pretending to be Abraham. Same thing. This person definitely knows Nina died because instead of giving a two, they CC'd her. But yet, yeah, they still decided to CC her because they know that we can see it. And this is very clearly some sort of bait because they know we can see this. What? This is... This is the mail that... Abraham, quote, quote, Abraham Goldfels sent Nina. There's really only one thing to do. Juliet's computer is still on for whatever reason. Alrighty then. Even if it's a trap, it's the only lead we got. Monday, 4pm. That's today. Today's quote of the day is... Better to be safe than sorry. I don't know about that. After the cloudy and rainy weekend, there's finally a silver lining on the horizon. The afternoon is sure to be sunny and warm again. I don't know about that either. A gathering? We know Abraham Goldfels is dead. Someone must be impersonating him. This is clear as crystal. We must act swiftly and collect as much evidence as possible before this gathering commences. Thought is certainly up to no good. As you know, processing data chunks is time-consuming. I would say we have time for roughly 20 data chunks. Be considerate. Wow, I'm being... I'm being limited. Wow! Ghosting. From Marka. You must think I'm stupid? First, you don't tell me where you're going because you need to ghost. Then hours later, you don't answer your phone. 
So I called Purse, asking for you, and she told me you were at Cyber Cafe Chestnut yesterday evening. Said you stormed in, then furiously wrote something on your PC. Propped this outrageous blog post, the news speak of. Then stormed back out the door, only to meet whom? Juliet! Meaning you're back in action with this shitty group? And her? I cannot fucking believe it! So now I'm trying emails, so you can't dodge me any longer. You and me, we're done. I mean it. Girl, why are you even spending so much time on this? If it's done, just stop contacting him. So that's where Harrison and Julia were meeting. At the same cafe that we're meeting today. Okay, no one gives a shit about Harrison's, Harrison's relationship status, so we are not entering that. I guess we have to do that one though, because nothing else happens if we don't add the the yesterday meeting. This is where Harrison O'Donnell did his dirty work, probably thinking we would not be able to track him down. We will track him down. I have gone through the information we have on the remaining suspects regarding the impersonation of Abraham Goldfels. We have received information from a reliable source that he is probably the leader of thought. Uh-huh, okay, sure. This lady, I don't like her one bit. I don't. She's doing things behind my back. Even though I'm the person with all the information, she's not reliable source. He predicted the bombings. This alone makes him suspicious. Harrison? We have no idea why he hit the posts on the thought blog in his timeline. We are yet to clarify why he would frequenting. Frequent? A drugstore so often? Survival supplies, perhaps? You are being awfully... You know, the, the purpose of an investigation is to gather clues and then come to a conclusion, right? But right now, this lady, I feel like she's almost a university student writing a paper. She comes to the conclusion and then finds evidence that fits the conclusion. Why would he have two health insurances? It is apparent that Harrison O'Donnell might well be part of the Bonson bombings. He is probably the one impersonating Goldfells. I want you to prove this and lock him away for good. No, I disagree with this assessment completely. I just don't see it. He didn't know about Orwell or being careful in his online communications at all. I just don't think it's him. <laughs> 2, 2048? Is that the game? Load... What is this? Cafe lobby. Oh! Hmm. Oh, okay. Hello, world. The internet is like a chestnut tree. Ever growing, branching, spreading. Everyone has the right to dwell or relax in its shadow. And we make sure you get your right. You're right. Need the web? Got you covered. Out of battery? Charge it here. Need PC access only? Also, yep. Bring your PC or use one of ours. Find us on Stelligan campus. Oh, Complex D, next to the actual cafe. All we ask is for an occasional donation. Cash your goods in return if you can. That's it. Ready. What is the primary goal? What? Like, you don't even pay money in this place, it seems like. We award scores for the time spent in our cafe, donating stuff or contributing to the cause. To the cause. By any other means. Dank Frank. Hancock. Robot Lady. Multivac. Jagged Y. The Net. Dev Null. Hellerfant, Merv, Honeypot? Well, Hancock. Harrison spends too much time here, I guess. We don't know, though. This is a lot of assumptions. I could make my name as Hancock and stay here. Hmm. Meet your hosts. Lenore, aka Persephone. Founder and the boss of the bunch. Ahmed, Rattlesnake. Super admin and all around super guy. 
Oh, maybe that's why they're so confident it'll be okay, because... This place seems to have some sort of cyber security knowledge. Oh! Marka! Wicked Witch! Harrison's ex. She keeps the drinks rolling and bits flowing. He had the guts to meet Juliet in the place where his girlfriend works? <laughs> oh, Harrison Hancock. Former admin and handsome. Former employee of Cyber Cafe Chestnut. Is that important for me? I don't know. I can't tell if that's important enough. I'll need to click on these. Contribution points, not counting active post. Wow, they have all the devices registered here. Donated working PC, monitor cables, mouse, keyboard. Donated two pallets of non-alcoholic beverages. PC. Donated 50 the National Beholder mouse pads. Okay. Is that really useful? That is useful. But uh, it's public knowledge. There can't be that much on it. We gotta try. And I have to be conservative here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one. The cash. TNO ideas. As you may or may not have heard, I have been affiliated with a group called Thought in the Past. I thought I might as well blow that right into your face before some data miner does and claims shit. Yeah, let them claim shit if they love worthless shit all that much. Once upon a time, there was a Daft Punk who sought to build an activist group, but failed awfully. The moral of this story is your activism isn't worth shit, because peeps just don't care. As you may or may not have heard, the TNA office is a bunch of cocksuckers. At least now you know. Don't say you haven't been warned. TNA? Do you mean TNB? The National Beholder? Wait, TNO? Oh, the National Opinion. Huh. Maybe he really did change his mind, but he did trash this, so... He looked up Benjamin Costigan. What is this? A phone. Where is my phone? Did he lose his phone? Help, I need to surprise my girlfriend. Timelines. The cash. Some band. The thought. That's important, but I don't know... I kind of want to find all the chunks until we hit a dead end and then decide. Because I feel like that's safer. But you know how this game is. Sometimes you just gotta make a decision right away. I love you, Hancock. Lily. Someone drew him fan art. Life trust invoice. He spent about 500 bucks on insurance. Twice. Family plus. Oh. We don't know how old this guy is, but he's unemployed. Oh, uh, well, he's unemployed. How can he afford... Mm. This one might be important. Family insurance. So are these two separate ones, or is this part of the family? Because, like, why is it separate? Hang on, can I do some simple math here? Where's my phone? Is this exactly half of that? 454.3 times 2. Uh... Okay, so it's not exactly half. It's actually off by three dollars. <laughs> well, I don't know if that means anything though. Hmm.
Last year. Juliet. Did we not have this email address? Hey you! I just wanted to thank you for your support on my blog post for the thought. I have the feeling that Nina does not really like me. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. Frankly, she scares me a bit. You know, I didn't want to occupy her spot in thought. If you want to, we can meet tomorrow at Cafe Chestnut and talk about our great success at Stelligan. The next big thing. Everything besides Nina. I mean, I study at campus, you work there, so we're neighbors anyway. Are you in? Juliet, aka Dixon. What? That's a little bit of a peculiar nickname for a girl, I guess. Okay. So we have a few pieces now. I feel like I gotta be so careful. Okay, I don't care about this. I don't... There's quite a few things we can be looking at. Former admin. Is that important? Not sure. I don't think this is important, but I think this might be. This is always a way to get new clues. Let's try that. Okay, let's stop right here and see what we got. It's phone. Quote tracking. His hideouts. Well, we don't know which one it is. Five. Nina. Oh, what the heck? Okay, well, it turns out we did find this email in Harrison's phone. However, however, remember how we got this phone number to begin with, or phone ID. Let's go back here. He went to a site called Where Is My Phone, which leads me to believe that he may have lost his phone. Because normally that's not a site you go to to find your phone. We don't have to be so quick in judging that Harrison is the person faking Abe. No, I don't think I want to add this one, but I'll disable it for now. Oh, there's so many things on the line right now. Juliet, mobile phone. We have never seen Juliet use her mobile phone before. His band buddies. Big A hole. <laughs> My babe. Cassandra Watergate. She's in jail right now, so I don't feel like that's gonna yield too much. Hey, you know what? Let's go disable some chunks. Oh, I kind of don't want to do that, though, because that kind of makes me forget about them. But I really don't think this one is useful, but I can't... Ah, I can't disable this one, actually. Okay, I can drag it, but I can't disable it. Fine, whatever. Let's sit on this one for a little bit. Hey, Jude. Happy birthday, have a good one. Hey Harrison, thanks so much. I'm spending the day chilling out with Huxley at the Riverside. Much needed. So I take it you ain't gonna party then? Nah, getting too old for that. What? Where's party hard Jude? What have you done to her? She died a slow and agonizing death somewhere between two clubs on a certain weekend if you remember. Ha, huh, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I thought so. Anyway, you have a good one. Cheers. April 14th. I think this is important because it means he hasn't texted anybody for the last three days, which would support the fact that he lost his phone. Thank you for the flowers! I forgot! Oh, <laughs> still pulling off those jokes. Oh, 16th. I'm sorry, Mom. I won't be coming home today. I'll be there tomorrow. Promise, in case anything happens, call Jake. Call Jake over, okay? Let me know if you understand. Okay. Great, love you. When are you coming? I'm not coming. Do you need anything? Are you okay? I am okay! Oh. His mom is probably not too good with phones and technology. This would explain the health insurance. Mom, I'm not coming today. I'll stay somewhere else, but I'm fine. Is Jake with you? 
Jake here. We're good, Harry. Oh, jeez. Thanks a ton, Jake. Never mind. What? This, I think, is important. Meeting tonight at Salvatore's? For sure, eight straight. Straight eight. You coming back tonight? Hell yeah, I will. Ah, and that's why he's not coming home. Gonna work my shift at CCC. Ah, what is it? Cyber Cafe Chestnut? Is that what it was? And be back at six. Remember when we were back at CCC together? Man, those were the days. You attracting all the guys while I kept pissing them off. Yeah, I'd say we made a pretty decent team, babe. Like good cop, bad cop. I love bad cop. <laughs> oh shit, what's wrong? Gotta bounce for a while. Get back to you soon. Uh, okay. Or you could tell me what's up. I'm not coming back today. What? Why not? Don't tell me you're staying with Juliet. No, I'm not. Got a ghost for a while. Ghost? Why are you ghosting? Trust me, I just gotta. You're such a douche sometimes. Talk to you later. Fuck you! Yeah, sometime maybe. <laughs> Actually, then, April 16th. He had his phone on April 16th. This was sent 3 a.m. on April 17th. Actually, why is this sent so late? Because I thought we got this when Nina died. What? Yeah, why was it sent so late? This is really weird. April 15th. In mail or Nina's inbox. I am sorry. But then outgoing. April 17th. I am sorry. Okay. I still stand by what I think. Harrison is being framed. Cause someone has picked up his phone and has sent that message again. To make it look like Harrison is the person who sent it in the first place. Suppose we can look at that. Or do we finish looking at his phone yet? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, so I think the, the insurance is not suspicious. It's mom. This might be important. Living with his mother. Oh, but he might not go back home. But it's good to know where his home with his mother is. His mom might have some type of elderly problem, like Alzheimer's or something. Mom. Yes, we, we don't have time for new portraits. He loves his mom. You can't be too bad of a kid if you love your mom. Oh my god, I think he still likes Juliet. Why would you have a picture of Juliet on your phone, but not your girlfriend? Huh. It's good that I saw them, but I don't think for our purposes that it's too relevant. Why is my mom not here? Marvelous Marv? TNB office, Steph. Angela! His mom is Angela. Oh! I thought he was cheating on somebody, but he was sending flowers to his mom! Right? Where was that? To Angela! A flower- Oh, I feel bad for judging you. April 14th. And that's why his mom said, thanks for the flowers. Okay, cool. Good thing we got that cleared up. This is definitely some sort of red herring though. It's... They try to paint a really bad image of him on purpose. So that it's easier to think of him as being someone who does really bad things. Holy crap, look at how many chunks we have. Oh, where do we begin? No, let's begin with this.
surprisingly still using his phone. Where the hell are you? Why did you leave Abe's? Our plan was to hide somewhere until we're no longer public enemies number one and two. Yeah, that was before I found out what you did. You exposed a government employee. Take a close look at what happened. They're after us now for sure. Was that necessary? Look at the TMB. We've developed the following. If they prosecute us now, there will be a public outcry. This tiny crowd with their banners won't stop a thing. We'll be gone forever once they get us. This is why I had to leave. Did you get Abraham's email? Yeah, that was crazy. I know. All of a sudden he's back and he has a plan? I can't believe it. Where was he this whole time? Will you attend this gathering? Of course! If Abe is there, we must attend. I will hide away someplace. I can call in from my notebook. You should do the same. Don't hide anywhere you've been to in the last 24 hours. Boom! They might check there first. Will do. My damn phone is gone! Boom! Just like you disappeared this morning. You haven't seen it by chance? Jesus, can you not take care of your stuff? No, I haven't seen your phone. Oh, fuck it. Try to track it down, but it doesn't send a signal. Probably out of battery or something. Yeah, whatever. I'll go without it. Until the gathering. Yeah, until the gathering. Okay. There is a lot of information hidden in this one conversation. Let's start from the top. Harrison and Juliet spent the night. Okay, I can't wait till the top. Okay, let's start at the bottom. He lost his phone after meeting Juliet. What does that mean? Well, I don't know about you, but that immediately makes me think that Juliet took his phone. Remember, a lot of things... Juliet is very, very good at making herself look exceptionally clean online. And maybe that's because she's the hacker, maybe that's because she works at Rosentech. So whoever gets in must have pretty good IT knowledge, even the PR assistant. Synchronous communication over asynchronous. Okay, now that I got that dealt with, I am going to go back to the top. I feel like we will have to... In order to lead... What's her name? Delacroix. Into thinking what we want her to think. We have to really... Be conscious of what kind of chunks we're sending. Sometimes, we'll see facts. But... Like, um, you know, because we only have 20 chunks, 17 now. We'll have to decide what to send very, very, very carefully. Don't hide anywhere you've been to in the last 24 hours. So Juliet is hiding somewhere where she hasn't stayed in the last 24 hours. I am increasingly suspicious of Juliet. Like, you know, the, my little gamer sense is tingling. Because when I read the sentence, what I thought this chunk would say would be to say that Harrison is gonna hide somewhere that he hasn't been in for the last 24 hours but the fact that this chunk points to Juliet makes me think that it's going to be crucial if we want to catch Juliet. I don't know if I'm overthinking this but that's what I feel like. Okay. Lot of chunks. Lot of chunks. Browser history. Got the phone. Probably not relevant. Search for Benjamin Costigan. Insurance. That was one of Delacroix's questions, so I feel like I want to address that to make her pivot over to Juliet. But even then, I don't really know... I feel like I'm... 45% mm, convinced right now that Harrison is not the guy and our person is Juliet. But... But... I feel like... <laughs> just like what I said about Delacroix coming to a conclusion and then finding evidence to support it. I'm really scared that I'm doing the same here, so I could be saying a bunch of bullshit right now. <laughs> oh god, this is hard. Julia, aka Dixon. Email. There's a lot of information here. I want to prioritize 
things that will give us more leads, aka emails and aliases. But... Okay, we don't have to care- wait. No, no, no possible hideout. No. The only reason why I would want to tell her about these places is that they, uh, he can't be here. But there's no point in saying that. Oh! Hmm. But he lost his phone. Oh, suddenly I don't- <laughs> I'm so unsure of anything and everything right now. So unsure. Jules. Mobile phone. People couldn't get into contact with Jules consistently on her mobile phone. <sighs> Lives with his mother. I feel like we should put that- I am so lost right now, like I am just- Forget this. Forget this. Good to know, but not now. So this is about mom. Contacts. Jules' phone number. Lots of aliases and emails. Family insurance. Browser history. I think this is relevant, but we don't have enough chunks to waste on this. So I'll leave it active. Oh, I am so stressed if you can't tell already. I wish I could disable this so I can get a clear view. God dang it. Hmm. Nobody knows that Abraham died, which is not a surprise because he didn't tell anything. No! Oh my god. Remember that? Oh, but I really feel like I'm creating a conclusion and just finding evidence to fit it. But remember how Abe said something like, I don't usually tell people my history, but Juliet, I'll tell you about what happened to me before I immigrated here. Oh my freaking god! Oh my god, oh my god, Juliet is the only person who knows Abe is Gunther Ahrens. Oh my god. I feel so simultaneously sure and unsure about Juliet. I feel like there's so many little things that kind of point to her now, now that I think back. But I don't know if I'm just overthinking this. 